Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tawheed and today I'm here with a sensational topic as usual, qualitative synthesis of a systematic review. Qualitative synthesis of a systematic review. What is this? How do we do that? Remember, when the numbers are involved, we do an analysis or synthesis of data that is known as quantitative synthesis. But when numbers are not involved, when you need to explain the data in your own words, then that is known as qualitative data synthesis or qualitative data analysis. Now, how do we do that in a systematic review? If you remember certain points that I'm going to mention, you will remember how to handle it. Number one, you explain or describe the deeper understanding of your data, of the articles, of the studies that you have included. Number two, you mention about the intervention. How is it working? Is it really working? How and why? If it's working, yes, then how and why? If it's not working, then again, how and why? Why is not working? Go deeper into the intervention. In each study, you follow what is happening with the intervention. And the more you write about it, the more you explore about it, the better your qualitative synthesis would be. The next thing that you need to do is the missing data. Yes, look for the missing data. In many of the articles you will notice, or at least in some of the articles you will notice that the data was missing or the missing of data. What do we mean by that? It means that patients drop out. Yes, sometimes the patients leave the study in between. So look for those words where you see that the patients did not complete the study or they left the study or sometimes the patients die in between. So you will understand about the missing data when you read more about the patients in the study. And which sections of the paper, the method and results section of the papers that you have included will give you this information. Now, the next thing is the judgment. Yes, and you don't just do one judgment, you do multiple judgments in your paper of the data of the studies. For example, the relevance, the legitimacy, all of these things you judge and you also judge if this data is sufficient enough to be converted into a meta-analysis because not every systematic review will become meta-analysis. So you need to look at your data and how do you make up your mind that whether it's a systematic review or it's going to be a meta-analysis by looking at the similarity. If there are more similar results, the data is similar, that means it's going to become a meta-analysis. So these are the things you should look for when you are trying to do your qualitative synthesis. I hope this video will be helpful for you in the future when you do qualitative synthesis. And I will, of course, make more videos on this topic so that you can understand it better. See you in the next video.